Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel answer card. So what do we have for Aries please? What does Aries need to hear for the week? Okay. Interesting. I've got ask and ask again. So I've got ask your angels, this is divine guidance, divine assistance, because it's available to you. And we have ask for help from others. This is about not doing everything on your own Aries, you know, you can take a lot on, on your own. And it feels for some of you, there are people who can help this week, be of influence. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify as we always do, go deep into the message and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Message for Aries, please, for the week, angels, spirits, guides. <clears throat> 26th of April to the 2nd of May, 2021. What do we have for Aries? Okay message for aries okay card is out we have the world in the challenge position the lovers is advice from spirit and we have the high priestess so let's clarify go deeper into the message for aries thank you angels spirits guides message for our lovely aries 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. What do we have, please? Starting with the world in the challenge position. <clears throat> so we have Page of Swords. Page of Wands. Clarifies the lovers. And we have the Five of Swords, clarifying the High Priestess in the near future. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands here, Aries. So, just give me a moment, Aries. Getting in this energy, you know, this page of swords. And the world card generally is about completion, completing a journey. But obviously in the challenge position, there is an energy of it feels to do with closure, finding closure, bringing a situation to a close. And it, you know, I mean, the lover's energy, it can be to do with partnerships. So, I mean, this, yes, it can be in terms of love, romance, relationships, but it can also be to do with other other partnerships like business partnerships or, you know, it's, it's that kind of energy. Um, and it, it feels for some of you, whether there's been some delays or reasons why something hasn't completed yet it feels for some of you you're 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 wanting to put something behind you you know this is a major completion energy but it, it feels for whatever reason you're not quite getting the closure that you seek now interestingly enough it might well be somebody is What's the expression? Spinning you a yarn? Um, it, it just feels this energy. Somebody is saying all the right things and uh, communicating to you. You're wanting to bring a situation to a close. But there are delays 
Uh, I'm getting this energy of frustration here. It feels like somebody is delaying it, delaying bringing something to a close, making excuses, spinning you a not yarn, empty promises. It, it's that kind of energy that I'm getting personally, you know. It, it feels in this situation, this is what I'm getting. Uh, someone is delaying something. And I, I feel it's a person. Because the lovers, like I said, it feels to do with partnerships. Now, can be in love, can be business partnerships. I mean, call it what you will. Uh, sometimes there's a choice card, but this is the advice from spirit. Now, the page of wands, I feel in this instance, yes, this can be a message to do with an opportunity. Um, and it's generally a, a new opportunity, a new beginning, a new a change energy a new change but it feels also that this page of wands is i'm getting the nine and the the one that the page holds it feels more like a completion energy um let me clarify that page of wands so we have the four of wands which is to do with the happy home and hope okay so you're wanting to bring something to it feels to do with a close what are you wanting to bring to a close here the world strength uh rising to a challenge facing your fears again i've got the page of swords here It's like you're stepping through, I'm going to get one more for this page at the bottom. Okay, so I've got the, the devil energy. I'm feeling in this energy, and it's interesting, I've got justice at the bottom of this. So, I mean, justice can be to do with legal situations, government institutions, but it can also be about doing the right thing. And in this, in this position, what I'm feeling the most, uh, Aries, is somebody is delaying, spinning you a yarn. And it, I feel it's to do with this devil energy, you know? And that strength card is about where there has been uh, a challenge to... It feels like somebody has overly challenged you. It's been an overly challenging situation because they're full of empty promises. And I'm definitely getting in this situation. It feels, I mean, the, the devil can be to do with a toxic relationship, an unhealthy relationship. Um codependency power struggles manipulation i'm getting in this energy someone is just manipulating spinning you a yarn telling you lies and there's delays and that's what i'm getting here because you want to you you want to you see an opportunity certainly for a new partnership this could be in love with somebody new you want to set up home with them there that's where you see your path lying that's where you see the potential ahead that's what you want to take action to the happy home card moving in with each other this can be about marriage celebration um it, yeah i'm definitely getting in this energy i mean it feels like some kind of new relationship new partnership and certainly with that four of wands it feels to do with relationships here but the star is about hope. You see the new hope, the new vision ahead. You want to liberate, the star liberates from the devil. So you want to liberate from this. It feels like you're wanting to take action towards a new path, a new partnership. It feels to do with love, romance, relationships. But you're not quite breaking free of somebody because somebody's spinning you a yarn. They're causing delays. They're being obstructive. You know, it, it just feels like you're wanting to break free of this person, but they're just holding on for dear life and they're delaying everything. And it's getting to the point where you've had enough. The battle is finished and you don't want to fight it anymore. You know, uh, the nine of wands is 
an energy of somebody who has tested your faith. It's been a testing journey. Uh, it's taken a lot of energy um, and a lot of drive to get to where you are. And you're so close now to bringing something to a close. Interesting. Because the high priestess is, yeah, you see, we've got the, the hermit just literally appeared from under there. So the hermit is healing, you know, healing, uh, finding answers from within on how you now need to take action in your external environment. It feels like you don't want to put up with this anymore. You know, you want this devil energy, which is causing a lot of instability, I feel, in your life to be done with. And that high priestess is fine, is trusting your instinct from within. Now, this won't be for everybody, but there's going to be a conflict um, because there is a need to deal with the situation. You've tried to deal with it honourably, I feel. You've tried to deal with it in the way that you know best. But this is a card of, I really need to bring this to a close now. It's done. And I don't really, you know, there's, there's been enough delays. I want to bring something to a close. I see where my future's lying now. And this is about winning at any cost. So it is about speaking your truth and sometimes there is an energy here of needing to speak your truth and acknowledge that there's going to be winners and losers, you know, um, and acknowledge that you may well offend somebody. But it, it feels in, that with that five of swords, you need to deal with it. You know, you're done with, you know, waiting. You're, you want to bring something to a close. And I'm definitely getting this energy. This is about words. It can be words used as weapons. Um, arguments, conflict. But it feels like there is a conflict. You are facing the challenge. You are. It feels like there's a confrontational energy here. There's conflict. But it ends in you claiming a victory. You know, because you, I feel you're done with it. And I feel somebody has been spinning you a yarn and causing a lot of delays here, Aries. And, you know, you just want to be done with this. And that's what I'm getting here. Because you see where your new hope, where your path lies ahead. And, you know, the star is a card of blessings. Um, what you're taking action to now, you know, in terms of, and it feels to do with a, a harmonious relationship, um, beautiful energy, is the path that you need to be on and want to be on. But it, it feels in this situation, somebody just doesn't seem to be getting the message. So it's almost kind of like taking the bull by the horns and dealing with it, I feel, in this situation. Okay. Yeah, I love the energy. So we have Koi Carp Abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around you and through you. Lovely. And I, I just love the energies here of, of what's ahead, you know, and that's what spirit is aligning you to. But it feels in this situation somebody just isn't letting go for whatever reason. We have the elephant grounding. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. Yeah. So powerful energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.